welcome to Medical Dialogues. I am Anshika Mishra. Today we'll talk about Brain health after COVID-19 pneumonia, heart attacks or critical illness. Impaired brain health after SARS-CoV-2 infection remains common three years after the outbreak of COVID-19, echoing impairment seen in previous virus pandemics. The long-term effects of COVID-19 are associated with more than 200 symptoms, affecting 65 million individuals worldwide. A new study in JAMA Network, including 345 participants, patients hospitalized for COVID-19 perform worse than healthy controls on cognitive, psychiatric and neurological tests. However, compared with hospitalized control matched for age, sex and severity of the disease, the impairment of brain health was similar. Researchers conducted a prospective cohort study with match control was conducted at two academic hospitals in Copenhagen, Denmark. The case cohort comprised patients with COVID-19 hospitalized between March 1, 2020 and March 31, 2021. Cohort controls consisted of patients hospitalized for pneumonia, myocardial infraction or non-COVID-19 intensive care requiring illness between March 1, 2020 and June 30, 2021 and healthy age and sex matched individuals. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. Out of 345 participants, including 120 patients with COVID-19, 70 men, that is 58.3%, 125 hospitalized controls, 73 men, that is 58.4%, and 100 healthy controls, 46 men, that is 46.0%. Patients with COVID-19 also perform worse than healthy control during all other psychiatric and neurological assessments. However, except for executive dysfunction for trail making test part B, with relative mean difference to be 1.15, the brain health of patients with COVID-19 was not more impaired than among hospitalized control patients. These results remain consistent across various sensitivity analysis. Researchers concluded that this prospective cohort study suggests that post-COVID-19 brain health was impaired, but overall, no more than brain health of patients for three non-COVID cohorts of comparable disease severity. Long-term association with brain health might not be specific to COVID-19, but associated with overall health severity and hospitalization. This information is important for putting understandable concerns about brain health after COVID-19 into perspective. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.